Justin, thank you. Beating and strangulation. Those are the claims against a man in a Pinal County domestic violence case. But how could a judge let him out of jail without even making him pay a bond? Well, that has Pinal County Sheriff Paul Babu angry and calling for reform. Nine Your Sides Craig Smith talked to the sheriff and to a domestic violence expert about what this case says and about the dangerous problem. This is Pinal County adult detention. It is not where 24-year-old Joshua Harrison spent the night after his live-in girlfriend told deputies he went after her in an attack so brutal he could have killed her. The sheriff's office says the couple was arguing over lottery tickets. It's not even clear if they were a winner. It got to the point where the man was punching her in the face and choking her until she felt her eyes would bug out. She managed to get away momentarily by kicking him in the groin and running to another room. Well, before this case, the Pinal Sheriff and County Attorney posted this billboard to help people recognize strangulation as a sign of abuse. Deputies arrested Harrison, but the judge let him stay out of jail pending trial. No bond, just a promise to make his next court appearance and to stay away from his girlfriend. But Sheriff Paul Babu says instead of staying away, Harrison called detectives, pretended to be the woman's brother, and tried to trick them into giving up her location. They saw through it. And sure enough, he was hiding in the residence in, in the shower. That did land him in jail, this time with a $5,000 bond. But Sheriff Babu says he still can't understand why the first incident was not enough to make it much tougher for Joshua Harrison to be free to hunt down the woman. We're sick and tired of judges releasing of violent offenders, criminals, back into our community. The CEO of Emerge, Center Against Domestic Abuse, says judges should learn to treat domestic violence differently. He says a judge looking for prior offenses to guide his decisions often will not find them. That's because abuse victims are so afraid to report a long abuse history may never be on the books. That safety for victims has to be our top priority in this matter, or we're going to end up with a lot more deaths than we already have. Now, Sheriff Babu says a lot of the questionable decisions are made by appointed commissioners who have the power of judges but no accountability to the public. He'd like state legislature, leg state lawmakers to change that.